Okay, other guys. This is a quick uh, answer for a question regarding deleting uh, records from um, uh, child and parent tables. Okay, so basically we have these two tables. The first one's people, we have the person ID. For example, here we have Smith and uh, also we have Todd and uh, Michael. Okay, and so we have these three people. Okay, now we have the car. Uh, so each person will have a car. So this is the first car for the first person. Let's say this is BMW or something like that. Okay, um, the second car also for the se uh, for the same person. Uh, let's say, yeah, BMW and Kia. Mm, weird. Anyway, so this person only have Kia. Um, this have uh, let's say um, I don't know nothing comes to my mind. Proton, okay. Um, yeah. Um, let's say, for example, this person has a Tata, okay, which is an Indian company. Yep. Anyway, so. Uh, these are the two tables, we have some information here and what you want to do here you want to make sure that there is a relationship between these two Okay, so you go to database tools and you select relationship and you add these two tables okay so basically you will have to connect these two tables together and here you will you will have to do an enforcement of referential integrity here Okay, what, what this means that uh, if you try to enter records and, uh, and you try to enter person ID in the cars table that is not available in the people table, you'll get an exception or error. So um, we're going to create this. I'm going to save this database. And uh, I'm going to remove this one here. Okay, so we have this one. Uh, let's try to, to do it here. Let's try to add it to our uh, database. So, uh, sorry, to our application. So right click and select add and select the uh, existing item. Go to the desktop. Oops, desktop here. And uh, all files. And we should select this one and select uh, add. Okay, now the wizards can start. Okay, there we go. And we want to include these two tables. And I'm gonna say finish. Okay, so now uh, the database is be, uh, uh, was added to our application and uh, we can now display the information for these two, no problem. And if we double click the data set here, we can see the information available. Okay, and you can see that there's this line connecting these two tables. This represents the referential integrity. And you can right click this one and select the properties sorry uh not properties i think you can double click yeah so you can see here this is the key column the foreign key column okay so this is telling telling you that uh, the cars table is referencing uh, the uh, people uh, table okay using the person id okay so you can see here uh, this this is related to the database uh, to the data set not the database itself anyway so now uh, what are we gonna try to do is uh, deleting uh, from the people table and trying to save the information okay hopefully we'll get an error so this is the people table I'm gonna put this one here oh, okay that's great okay so this is the first one. Now um, what we are going to do, I'm going to drag and drop the car the car table. Uh, notice that when I uh, drag and dropped it, I didn't get the one underneath people. If you get this one, it will 
it will display the information in a different way okay so I want to display all the records anyway so um, I think uh, let's go to the save button here okay um, yeah we have this update all and this is what we what we want to do okay that's it so um, let's run this and try to trigger an error okay so we have this information we are gonna select the information in the course table in the child and I'm deleting here oops uh, sorry I should say uh, no control Z wait a second um, well the delete this delete command is bound to the first table it's not bound to the second uh, sorry about that so in order to delete I'm gonna mark these records and right uh, and uh, press delete on, on the keyboard and uh, the record is deleted now I'm gonna press save and you can see there is no error here no problem okay so now I'm gonna build the application again and run it okay now I won't delete anything from this table instead I will delete from this one press delete so now uh, the, these two records uh, are referencing values that are not available here there is no num uh, number 3 here you can see this person ID it's not available here now I'm gonna hit the save button and check this out you get an error okay uh, this is the issue here so let's save this now uh, sorry let's build the solution now uh, how do you address something like this well as you have seen uh, we need to delete from the child table first and then go to the parent table okay this is one way to do it another way is to enforce referential integrity so uh, sorry and uh, not, not that uh, performing cascaded deletes so here um, so now choose what uh, you uh, let me show you this when you double click on this one you get this one here uh, and here choose what to create so both relation um, foreign key both relation and foreign key constraint so here the update rule what this means that what happens when you update the person ID here does the value here stay uh, as it is without change or do you update both values this is one thing the second what happens when you perform a delete okay so here I'm gonna say cascade this means if you d remove a record in the people table the other records in the uh, chart uh, in the course table will, will be deleted okay so I'm gonna uh, wait a second relation file but it cannot be null parameter name uh, value okay wait a second um, is this one um, okay sorry so we have just said that okay now let's try this again pull the solution and now we are gonna run it and there's some kind of an error here okay obviously pull the solution and run it again okay so no problem I think it's because of the relationship I set. I uh, did something wrong here, so I'm gonna double click that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say. Wait a second, both relation. Yeah, update cascade, cascade accept the Yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna make this all cascade. Usually I don't use the designer uh, when I work, so I'm not that experienced with the designer. Uh, most of my work is uh, through just, you know, just the code. Okay, so it seems it's, it's not working. I'm gonna say foreign key constraint only. I'm gonna say here, okay. And you see that I'm getting the problems. Reason is, well, okay. So, 
What am I gonna do here? Sorry. Okay, I'll put it back the way it was. Uh, just annihilation. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna say save. Just wanted to to go back to the way it was. Okay, you can see the the information now goes back, but we we did nothing so far. We did nothing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I will open the database with Microsoft Access. Okay, and go to the tools, relationship, and I will double click on the relation. Now you see here there is cascade uh, update, cascade delete, I'm gonna select cascade delete and I'm gonna say OK. I will save that, close this. Okay, and uh, I will see what option do, do we have. Okay, so here I have um delete rule you can say cascade none okay I'm gonna say okay here hopefully this time this is gonna work run okay I'm still doing something wrong here um wait a second Oh wait a second, let me just try it without anything here. So, okay, so last time we deleted it from this one here and when we press save we got an error. So I'm saving here. Now you see now I was able to save the information. Okay, now the thing is that if you load the data, you will find that the Proton and Tata in the database is, is now missing. Uh, let me show you the proof on that. Um, let me show you this. Go to the bin directory, go to the debug and open the access. And let's go and display. You can see here, this is the uh, database. Okay, and the values are missing. And the reason is that the information that was deleted, uh, only one record was deleted from the parent table. The child table didn't have any record deleted, but these tables are actually in memory. When you press save, the changes will go to the database. Now what happens is that the record from the parent table is being deleted. And because in the database you said that delete, uh, deleting a record will have a cascading effect, the child records in the database were removed, not in memory. So you, you must pay attention to that. Okay. Um, now I think I have to fix the problem and uh, yeah, address uh, the problem of uh, cascading. Uh, yeah so here uh, both relation update rule let's say set null the delete rule I'm gonna cascade it accept reject rule yeah I'm gonna say none okay I'm gonna say okay and hope that this one's gonna work now both the solution and run Okay, I'm still having a problem. I have to figure out why this is happening. Okay, so let me have a look here. Double click in this one. Adapter. Okay, um, I think I need to change the order of loading information uh, because this one's checking that there should be values in the first table, and because this one's not being la uh, loaded already, we are getting the error. This is this might be the reason why it didn't work okay now it's working you can see here so now I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna press delete you can see the related record is deleted from memory as well okay and now I can say save and now the value in the database is being updated okay so uh, you must pay, pay attention to, to such a thing uh, when you want to cascade 
the delete operation you must do that in the database first and also you must do it in the uh, uh, you must do it in the designer now there is one last case that we didn't check okay so now I will remove such uh, thing um, let, let me show you this okay now let's go this is our table sorry let's go to the list of tools relationship now I will remove cascading the delete and press OK um, okay I, I know why it's uh, objecting on this I need to close the tables close them double click this uh, I will remove the cascade delete there we go I'm gonna save this close it now I remove the cascade delete from the database and now I am going to keep the cascade delete in the designer okay so there is this cascade effect in the designer but not in the database so let's see how this is gonna work build the solution okay on this and uh, I'm gonna click here and I, I'm gonna press delete and this one is being deleted okay no problem and now I am gonna press save uh, okay so maybe I will click here delete and press save okay so let us have a look at uh, our data here Double folder and okay, go to the bin, go to debug and okay, and you see the information is deleted. Now the reason the information is deleted uh, is a little bit different. Uh, when we perform the delete operation, uh, when we perform the delete operation here, uh, the the delete operation was performed in memory, so. Each record here get deleted. The um, the delete uh, is being cascaded to the uh, you know related records. So when you press save, uh, the system knows that there are record deleted here and it's going to delete them from database and it will notice all also that there are records that were available here. So it will also delete these from the database. Unlike the first case when we forgot about the designer and we didn't. Uh, with the cascade delete uh, we deleted one record uh, sorry we deleted a record from here it didn't get uh, the related one didn't get deleted from here in, uh, in the program but in the database it was deleted because in the database it was enforcing the cascade okay so um, you if you are going to build your application you must always remember that you must set the referential integrity constraint in the database and use the same constraints in the designer in order to get the desired effect you don't want to um, you don't want to to put different rules in the database and the designer otherwise things will not work normally so um, uh, again uh, one last thing uh, you want always to delete from the cars table in other words the child one and then delete from the parent table uh, or people hope you'll find this useful uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day bye bye